So in order to understand how the theme function works, we need to first understand um, what the different elements of ggplot plots are. Um, so far we've been working with kind of geoms and we can put points on and we can map data to specific axes or to specific fills or scales and other things like that. Um, but the actual plot that shows up on the screen also has lots of little elements to it. Um, and using the theme function, we can target those elements and adjust them and change them or turn them off completely. And so one of your readings for today was this really helpful chart here, um, which you should bookmark, print this out, memorize this, um, because this is like the most helpful way of, of thinking about all of the different parts of a chart. And so if you, if you see here, like um, this Henry Wang guy came and showed all of the different elements here. Um, and the way you can target them. So the, the whole background of the plot, for example, um, you can use plot.background and access that and change its color and change the border and do other things like that. Um, if you want to target stuff within the legend, um, you have all sorts of options. You can do legend.title, and that will do the legend title. You can do legend.text, which will just do the text in the legend. You can change the background. You can change the spacing between plots or between panels. Um, you can change the, the title of the panels and the strip text here. There's all sorts of things that you can do. Um, so what's helpful with this chart is if you're working on a plot and you want to change a specific element, um, you can look at this chart and figure out what you're trying to change. If you're trying to change the title or the subtitle or the panel grid or the panel border or something like that, this should help you recognize the part of the plot that you're going to be changing. Um, everything in the plot can be targeted. Um, so every element, anything you see in that plot can be targeted somehow with one of these um, theme definitions with like strip background or access title or access ticks. Um, and so you just kind of get used to kind of the core ones. Some of the more popular ones that you deal with are like plot title if you want to make that bold or slightly bigger or left aligned. Um, you do that with plot title. If you want to target the grid lines and turn them off or turn just the minor grid lines off, which are the lines that show up in between the main axis ticks, um, you target those with panel.grid. Um, you can change the legend background. Um, you can do a whole bunch of things with kind of these, these definitions of the, of the ggplot elements here. And the way you, you deal with these elements is each type of element has a function that is associated with it. And so if something is text-based, um, like your legend text or your subtitle or your caption or your access text or anything that has text in the plot, um, you use the element text function. And inside those parentheses, you do all sorts of things like size equals something, color equals something, font equals something, um, font face equals something. So you can have italic or bold or plain or bold italic. Um, anything that you want to adjust the text with goes inside these parentheses here for element text. If there's something on the plot that looks like a rectangle, like the box around the legend or the box around the whole plot or the box around the different panels, um, you use the function element rect um, for rectangle. And so here you can set specific fills, you can set the color of the border, you can set the border size. And so if you want a really thick border or a thin border, um, you can change the border and make it dotted or dashed instead of solid. You have a whole bunch of different options that deal with rectangles. Um, if you're dealing with something like a line, like the, the grid lines or with the axis um, lines at the bottom or inside, you use the element line function. And that's where you can choose line type and size and color and other things that deal with lines. Um, finally, if you want to turn off an element completely, if you want to get rid of the plot title, if it's there, um, you can use element blank. So you could say plot.title equals element blank and it's gone. So if you want the legend completely gone, you could turn it off with element blank. Um, if you want the grid lines all the way gone and so there's no grid lines at all, you can use element blank. Um, if you want to get rid of the gray background, you can use, uh, I think it's panel.background equals element blank and it'll go away. Um, and so these functions let you do stuff to the to the ggplot elements that you target is essentially how this process works. Um, the way you learn this is you just have to play with it. There's no possible way for me to teach you all of this stuff. There are 94 possible arguments in the theme function. Um, it's one of the most, um, it, it's one of the functions with the most arguments in the whole R ecosystem. 
Um, most functions have like two or three arguments, and there are 94 here. Um, you can get as detailed as something like this. If you want to just target the x-axis ticks on the bottom of the plot, um, there's an argument for that, and you can turn those off or make them blue or whatever. Um, so the only way you're going to learn this is by tinkering with it and testing it and just trying to change things and seeing what happens when you change things. And so for the rest of the session, really, um, the whole point of the lesson and the example and the exercise that you're going to be doing is to give you practice making changes to the theme function and changing how your plot looks. And so let's go ahead and get started. So head over to the lesson page and it should start giving you some early practice and then watch the example um, and do the exercise and you should be fairly well off to, to starting to feel comfortable with the theme function. Again, you're not going to be an expert in this. Um, you're not going to memorize all 94 arguments, but you should start getting a handle on being able to target a part of the plot and change that part of the plot. Um, so go get started. Good luck.